My name is Jeremy Boroff. I'm a physician assistant, and I'm going to talk to you about the dermatology blueprint for the pants and panry. The first group of skin disorders we need to look at uh, that's on the dermatology blueprint is the, it's called eczematous eruptions. There's three types of eczematous eruptions you need to be concerned with when it comes to the dermatology blueprint. The first one is contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is likely the most common skin disorder you're going to encounter in clinical practice, uh, um, especially in urgent care or acute care. Um, it's a delayed hypersensitive reaction. Uh, typically presents as well demarcated plaques of erythema and edema. Acutely, you'll likely see some vesicles. Um, uh, but they won't follow a, dermatol a dermatomal pattern. Um, this is different from uh, shingles, which the vesicles will f follow a dermatomal uh, pattern. Uh, Subacute chronic may have some plaques and erythema and dry scales or some areas of desquamation where you actually lose uh, the top layer of skin will sort of slough off. Uh, chronically, especially, you uh, may have some plaques of lichenification. Uh, the main treatment in kind of dermatitis is to re to remove the offending agent uh, if able to isolate, which sometimes can be more difficult than others. Topical steroids are helpful in the mild cases. Severe cases are going to require chronic, I'm sorry, s systemic cortical steroids for up to two weeks. Uh, um, of course, you want to taper the dose with that. Uh, Burrow solution on wet dressings may be helpful. Um, and you may have to add some antihistamines uh, for the patient's itching symptoms. The next skin disorder we want to concern ourselves with is called atopic dermatitis. Now, atopic dermatitis tends to be a, a pretty uh, can, can be a pretty nagging disorder for patients to encounter. It's a uh, type one hypersensitive reaction. Lesions are present for months to years. Uh, they are poorly defined erythematous patches. Uh, chronically, the lesions may have some lichenification or excoriation marks because these chronically itch. Fissure areas uh, are painful because uh, the skin's more dry and the pa where the patient scratched it uh, is going to cause some pain for them. Uh, this is commonly be associated with allergic rhinitis or asthma. Uh, topical anti itch lotions are helpful. Patients uh, will, will need low potency steroids ointments at times. Wet dressings are also helpful. UVA and UVB light may be helpful for chronic and, and subacute conditions. The next disorder we need to talk about is dyshydrosis. Uh, dyshydrosis, um, you, you tend to see this in the web spaces of um, uh, patients' fingers and toes. Although it can be anywhere, uh, essentially where there's folds, um, sweating does not play a role in this. This was used to be a myth. Uh, rash presents as vesicles and clusters in, in early phases. Uh, later, they pr present as uh, scaling and painful fissures with crusting. Uh, it can vary very similar to ectopic dermatitis. 80% of the conditions are on the hands and feet. Treatment uh, involves high-potency topical steroids for one to two weeks. Burrow's solution, again, will be helpful uh, with the wet dressings in the early stages. Uh, for, for, for table, for, I'm sorry, for systemic glucocorticoids are uh, necessary for more severe cases um, over one to two weeks uh, in a manner of a tapered dose. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is something called lichen simplex chronicus. It's another type of eczematous uh, skin disorder. Uh, this is uh, caused by uh, pre dilatation of the skin in response to trauma, epidermal hyperplasia. Skin uh, becomes more hypersensitive uh, uh, and nerves of the epidermis pro proliferate and it's just um, really, really bad. Solid plaque uh, of lichenification from confluence of small papules. Uh, you'll see that with this rash. Scaling is minimal. Skin feels thickened in that area, um, especially chronically. Uh, areas of distribution include the scalp, ankles, lower thighs, exterior forearms, volvula, neck, scrotum, and groin. 
Occlusive dressings are helpful for this. Uh, you can actually do an uh, intralegional injection of triamcinolone. Uh, you can also use a combination of, of crude tar and zinc oxide. And, and topical glucocorticoids are helpful in this condition. Now the 